All right, guys. So the next rig I will be showing you on your Bassett Ain't Safe's um, How To series. This is episode two, and this is the Texas rig. Now, this is a very easy rig to learn. Very effective. I've caught so many bass on this rig, and I've caught multiple three pounders on it. So, this is a very good rig, and very simple and very easy to learn. And once you learn it, you'll never forget it. So, let's start with the weights. The right weight to use at the right time doesn't matter for a Texas rig because it all works the same. But I will say, the best weight to use for a Texas rig is a good old bullet weight. Uh, I like to use a fourth ounce, one fourth ounce weight, and you always want to have it like this. So always put the line through the top of the bullet weight at the narrowest point down through the booty and the widest. Because if you rig it correctly, it'll look like that and it'll look like it has a head. And that's the top of it. And it doesn't look abnormal like this where it looks like there's a funnel going into the bait. And that looks weird as heck. So I am actually using... A Guggenbait Bandito Bug. It is Green Pumpkin. So, those are found in probably every fishing store in America. But another good one that I also have on hand with me today is the Yum Christy Craw. And it says use a 4 out circle hook, and it is very good for Texas rig, Carolina rig, or jig trailer. So, this is a very good, craws are very good for multiple types of things. So you feed your line through the top of the bullet weight, down through the booty. And just so you know, guys, if you have braided line, take it, put it in your mouth, and wet the tip of the braid. I'm not using braid currently. I'm using 20-pound uh, fluorocarbon. But lick and wet the braid so that it becomes slicker and it becomes like a straight... Uh, line instead of it being dry and poofy and doesn't fit into the small holes that a uh, bullet weight and a hook need to for it to tie. So now that that's on, you don't really need to secure it unless you have a weight stopper, which I don't know if it really makes a difference or not because I've never really used a weight stopper before, but if you like them, hey, go for it. I'm not blaming you. All right, now that the hook is tied on very well, now you take your worm this can also texas rigs work for worms cinco's and craws so use whatever you feel i just like to use a craw more than a worm because i feel like it's more effective so you put it through the top of the craw or worm feed it down till it begins the bend of the hook then you punch it through the worm bring it up this is very this is a very important step so once you get it to here, right before it curves into the eyelet and the eye of the hook, you want to turn the bait so it's originally like this. You want to turn it like this so then it doesn't look like that and the hook isn't coming out when you put it like this. And then it'll look really weird and it'll look like that and it'll be really weird. So you always want to twist the bait around, put it up to the top. You want to try to cover the eyelet. Which is why you put it down to here before, right to the where the bend starts. And that normally gives you enough room for the worm to cover the eyelet. Because if a bass tastes any part of the hook before you are able to hook set it, then it will not swallow your bait and you will be doomed. So now a really good way to know is to line it up and see where this bottom part of the hook lines up. So it looks like a hook lines up right there. And then you bend it down. Put it right in, punch it out, pull it down just like that. And then this is also a very important step, so you do not get weeds every freaking cast. You push up the craw or the worm, pull it towards the hook, and put it back down so that the hook goes into the worm just like that. It's completely flat, and now your worm is weedless because the hook is now inside the craw, but then, but then... Once a, a fish bites, clamp, the hook exposes, and you set the hook, and you get them. That is the easiest way to make it weedless, so you don't need any of those really weird weedless hooks. And that, my friends, 
is the Texas rig rig and setup. Now I'm going to show you how to fish it and how to work it and I'll show you what it looks like underwater. So we'll go there next. All right, so how you fish the Texas rig craw, worm, or cinco, you drop it into the water, you let it sit, and I just let it fall all the way down. I just let it sit, and then you watch your line while it's in the water, and if your line starts uh, tightening, and where the line enters the water is running towards where you cast it, that means something is biting it and is taking it. So that's when you set the hook. But the way you work it is that doesn't happen the first time, is you just pull it up like this and move it very, very slightly so it doesn't move too far, but also a good amount so it looks like it's jumping and swimming to a different part on the ground. So now I'm going to move the camera so you can see what it looks like when it's in water. Alright, so now that the camera is pointed at the water, you will be able to see what it looks like when it is when you are fishing it and why the uh, bass want to bite the lure. So like I said, drop it in and you see how the, the uh, claw is shooting like that? That's what attracts the bass a lot. Just work it, fall down, just like that. But when you drop it in, where the line hits the water is what you watch, and once it starts running to your bait, so that means someone picked it up and is running with your bait. So now, how to fish it is you drop it in, or cast it into the water, and then let it sink, and then just slowly bring it to you. Just like that, you saw how that skipped? Show you guys again. Very small movements. The reason I'm not jerking my rod up is because I'm in a very small space right now, so I'm just slowly reeling it in so you get the same effect. So, that is how you fish the Texas rig. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. That is how you fish and rig a Texas rig with a craw, a cinco, or a worm. I only did the craw today because that is my favorite. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next how-to video. Episode 3.